video hello and welcome to another video uh, this video I'm talking about um, the iOS amp and so far I have nothing because I'm trying to see how you can parse XML so there are many ways to do it just like in .NET um, and I have a RSS fee here for example uh, you can use anything because they all are the same way at least the XML so I have this one that I'm using feed.xml that XML and when you see the page source um, it's a version 2 and it has the basics you know channel item and in this case I want to get the title and the link and the publication date that's the values that I want to get so so far this is what I have I don't have anything because I, I'm not ready I don't, I'm not sure how I'm gonna display the data because that's the easy part the hard part is getting the parts in the XML and I did find a tutorial but it was it had mistakes on it and it doesn't work correctly so this is what I found that it actually works so the tutorial said that you need to create a class at least for the stuff that you want to pull out so I have not sure why I have an item here but I want to pull the title the link and the publication date and there's some properties here for it and the only thing I did here is synthesize the properties and the for the actual parse and you need to create another file as an NS object and name it whatever you want you do need to have a, a delegate the NS XML parser delegate and we have a few instance right here uh, the current node this is where you're gonna save all your items and this is the parser itself and this is the class that we just made to hold our, our data here's the NRA all the articles and this is a, a method that we're gonna be using so when we go to the implementation uh, there's a few things it looks a lot of code but it's just um, it depends on what you're looking for in the XML but the first thing you need to do is import your class and then bring your articles make sure you do this synthesize articles in this case it's this articles is this array uh, you see why we need it now here on the load XML by URL we are allocating our articles that's the uh, that's the mutable array and then here we're building the URL based on the parameter from the user and here that's the same thing which is getting ready for the error in case we get an error and here here's where the problem might be in but so far it's working but here I'm passing um, I'm trying to encode it as a UTF-8 uh, for this content which is the URL and here we're pulling uh, the contents also again and trying to encode it uh, UTF now these two lines might be the problem um, it might not be the problem at that point but you see what I mean now here we're getting ready for the for the parser so we're passing the data that we got from the URL and here we're just saying okay we're gonna our delegate is ourself and we're gonna do parse now once we return we'll, there's a few events that get triggered uh, one that is really easy is this one did start element now if you don't know all this stuff you don't want to write all that just type uh, void parse and as you can I see you write then there's all these events or method to start popping up so just pick the right one 
in this case we're gonna pick the one that says did start element so what that means is it would start this element for example here it, when we start this element for example or this element that's where this is gonna get triggered so in this case I'm saying if the element is equal to item like this one then then I want to start I'm gonna allocate my current article and current article over here is my class that I made so I'm gonna allocate my gonna create an instance of my class if I see item now did an element that means that when we hit this section of the XML then we can get what's inside of it or the content so right here if we see title which is this title the end of it then we can go ahead and say okay give me the current not content I think I misspell that so that's it once you find the tag that is ending that you're looking for just get the content and this guy we go back here it's this one it's a mutable string and as you can see here the articles it has a properties title link publication date and then obviously once you finish the item which is just this ending then you have everything that you need in your array so now you pass it this articles this array now you are ready to add objects to it and then you pass your class to it so you're adding your object to your array and then you kneel everything else because the next time it loops around you want to make sure that it doesn't have anything and then here this is the part that you maybe you can find a solution for but if you have special characters in some occasion it doesn't work so this is what I'm currently working on this is what needs to happen but when you see a um, special characters and like in Spanish or English it won't work and I'll show you what I mean so if I run this guy well before I run it let me show you once you have your your parser ready with this code or something similar what you need to do now is to start it to fire it up you need to say parser uh, obviously you need to import your parser into your edge file and create an instance of the parser of your class so once you have that done all you need to do is load the URL that you're looking for and then now you can loop and see the properties of each um, values that you pull from the XML but when I run it for example here everything looks great there's no special characters on title on this one there's a no, no, no characters special character but on this one if you can see there's an there's a special character and T so something is missing there and when you see the the raw XML where did it go I am one two three I think it's this one as you can see here there's a TM there's this that is messing it up so I have uh, have any friends that's fine but before the T there's a uh, special characters here that it's not coming up correctly and this is breaking the whole thing this so this is incorrect and if you can see there now if you go to the next one the next one oh, does have some some um, characters in there but that one did it looks like it did translate it well almost almost correctly for some weird 
dots in there. But anyways, if you want to parse um, uh, XML, make sure let me put this down. Make sure you create your own class so it's more clear. You could do it without it, but I think it's more clear if you use it. Uh, so a class, uh, and then create a parser file, a class that just does that for you, and then you can pull out the data. Uh, make sure you have all these properties or fields ready because you will need them at least each of those and obviously the way you're gonna pull the data the problem might be with the encoding I'm not sure yet I'll find out so you, when you guys build your own um, RSS feeder or reader you know how to handle those uh, characters because if you see here the browser does uh, really correctly like don't it has the little character there in the double quotes it's reading it correctly so I will find out and get back to this um, project later on thank you for watching